Series soothe us, series entertain us, series mesmerize us. While watching them, you get a huge amount of emotional release, which is necessary to cope with the problems that worry you. On the other hand, there are many elements in the series that help you get a glimpse of life beyond the screen. You see how people behave in certain situations. So you can compare what happens in real life with what is shown in this series. Moreover, the authors have tried to write such a plot, which would be fascinating for absolutely different people. Each episode of the season promises to be rich and interesting. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see the new episode on January 11th. But now, we have to wait patiently. There is no doubt that the plot of such a series will not let you get bored for a minute. In addition, a huge number of viewers are waiting for the release of this episode. And for the creators it is a great incentive, but also a huge responsibility. And to brighten up our anticipation for the new episode, we offer a review of other excellent and not inferior in the Heat of Passion series. Supernatural is an American dark fantasy drama television series created by Eric Kripke. Starring Jared Padalecki as Sam Winchester and Jensen Ackles as Dean Winchester. Before bringing Supernatural to television, creator Eric Kripke had been developing the series for nearly 10 years, having been fascinated with urban legends since he was a child. He had originally envisioned Supernatural as a movie. During its first season, the show received generally mixed critical reception, but the reception from critics has grown more favorable as the series progressed with subsequent seasons receiving generally positive reviews from critics. Being a cult series, Supernatural has garnered a dedicated fanbase. The first season consists of 22 episodes. It premiered on the WB on September 13, 2005. The series follows the two brothers as they hunt demons, ghosts, monsters, and other supernatural beings. After their mother's death in a suspicious fire that burns down their house 22 years prior, Sam and Dean Winchester's father goes missing during a hunting trip. As a result, Dean tracks down Sam at Stanford University and they begin to live a life on the road, in Dean's black 1967 Chevrolet Impala with Kansas license plates. However, their father is not a typical hunter. He hunts supernatural creatures like ghosts, vampires, and spirits, and has trained his sons to do the same. Along the way, Sam and Dean save innocent people, fight creatures and ghosts, and collect clues to their father's whereabouts. Sam begins to mysteriously develop psychic abilities and visions as they travel. Bra Sick is a British comedy drama television series which premiered on Sky One on August 22, 2019 and became Sky's most successful comedy in seven years. The series follows the lives of Vinnie O'Neill and his friends in the fictional town of Holly. The first series consists of six episodes, which concluded on September 19, 2019, receiving positive reviews. Bra Sick follows the lives of Vinnie and his five friends as they live their lives in the fictional northern English town of Holly. The working class group commit various crimes to keep money in their pockets, but as they get older some of them wonder if there's more to life away from the town. Lucy Mangan of The Guardian, reviewing the series, gave it 4 out of 5 stars, saying, it is a hilarious, warm, brutal melange that works because it has heart without sentimentality and authenticity without strain. Creator and lead actor Joseph Gilgan has been praised for his performance as Vinnie O'Neill, with review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes commenting, Joseph Gilgan is wonderfully expressive as Vinnie, his volatile features continually scrunching together and apart like the top of a drawstring bag. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television program broadcast by the BBC since 1963. The program depicts the adventures of a Time Lord called the Doctor, an extraterrestrial being who appears to be human. The Doctor explores the universe in a time-traveling spaceship called the TARDIS. The TARDIS exterior appears as a blue British police box, which was a common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. With various companions, the Doctor combats foes, works to save civilizations, and helps people in need. Beginning with William Hartnell, 13 actors have headlined the series as the Doctor. In 2017, Jodie Whittaker became the first woman to officially play the role on television. 
The transition from one actor to another is written into the plot of the show with the concept of regeneration into a new incarnation, a plot device in which a Time Lord transforms into a new body when the current one is too badly harmed to heal normally. Each actor's portrayal is unique, but all represent stages in the life of the same character, and together, they form a single lifetime with a single narrative. The time-traveling feature of the plot means that different incarnations of the Doctor occasionally meet. The program was originally intended to appeal to a family audience as an educational program using time travel as a means to explore scientific ideas and famous moments in history. The show is a significant part of British popular culture, and elsewhere, it has gained a cult following. It has influenced generations of British television professionals, many of whom grew up watching the series. The program is listed in Guinness World Records as the longest-running science fiction television show in the world, as well as the most successful science fiction series of all time. The program originally ran from 1963 to 1989. There was an unsuccessful attempt to revive regular production in 1996 with a backdoor pilot in the form of a television film titled Doctor Who. The program was relaunched in 2005 and since then, has been produced in-house by BBC Wales in Cardiff. Forever is an American fantasy crime drama television series that aired on ABC. Created by Matt Miller, it centers on the character of Dr. Henry Morgan, an immortal New York City medical examiner who uses his extensive knowledge to assist the New York City Police Department in solving crimes and to discover a way to end his immortality. Flashbacks within each episode reveal various details of Henry's life. The concept for Forever came from a conversation between series creator Matt Miller and his son about death. After the conversation, Miller began to imagine what life would be like if a person was immortal but everyone else, including that person's own children, were mortals. He created a character who viewed immortality as a curse because of the pain of seeing family and friends die and who would attempt to find a way to end his immortality. That concept informed Miller's decision to make his character a doctor-turned-medical examiner who used his occupation for research into his immortality. Another series-long story arc explored how other people learned of Henry's immortality. The first storyline in the arc was the season's second story arc, Henry's determination to learn the identity of a second immortal who knows about it. The second immortal character's morals would contrast his protagonist's morals, serving as an antagonist for the main character. Beginning with the pilot, Miller structured each episode by telling two stories in the episode. The first was a traditional procedural plotline. The second story was a flashback from Henry's past. American Horror Story is an American anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Each season is conceived as a self-contained miniseries, following a different set of characters and settings, and a storyline with its own beginning, middle, and end. Some plot elements of each season are loosely inspired by true events. Many actors appear in more than one season, often playing a new character. The first season, takes place in Los Angeles, California in 2011, and centers on a family that moves into a house haunted by its former occupants. Although reception to individual seasons has varied, American Horror Story largely has been well received by television critics, with the majority of the praise going towards the cast, particularly Jessica Lange. The series draws consistently high ratings for the FX network, with its first season being the most viewed new cable series of 2011. Creators Murphy and Falchuk began working on American Horror Story before their Fox series Glee began production. Murphy wanted to do the opposite of what he had done previously and thus began his work on the series. Falchuk was intrigued by the idea of putting a different angle on the horror genre, stating that their main goal in creating the series was to scare viewers. From the beginning, Murphy and Falchuk planned that each season of the series would tell a different story. After the first season finale aired, Murphy spoke of his plans to change the cast and location for the second season. The first season, American Horror Story, Murder House, received generally positive reviews from critics. Charmed is an American fantasy drama television series. The series' narrative follows a trio of sisters, known as the Charmed Ones, the most powerful good witches of all time, who use their combined power of three to protect innocent lives from evil beings such as demons and warlocks. Each sister possesses unique magical powers that grow and evolve, while they attempt to maintain normal lives in modern-day San Francisco. Q. 
Keeping their supernatural identities separate and secret from their ordinary lives often becomes a challenge for them, with the exposure of magic having far-reaching consequences on their various relationships and resulting in a number of police and FBI investigations throughout the series. The series starts in 1998 when Phoebe Halliwell returns from New York and moves back into the family's Halliwell Manor in San Francisco to live with her sisters Prue and Piper. When Phoebe discovers the family's Book of Shadows in the attic, she learns that she and her sisters are the most powerful witches ever known, destined to protect both innocents and the world at large from demons, warlocks, and other evil creatures. Phoebe, reasonably suspecting the book to be a novelty, reads its initial inscription, unaware that it also happens to be an incantation activating the sisters' supernatural powers once all three are reunited in their ancestral home. By the end of the first episode, each sister learns that she has a unique magical power that allows them to cast spells and brew potions. Prue, the eldest, has the power of telekinesis, and in season 2 she develops the power of astral projection. Piper, the middle sister, has the power of molecular immobilization. As she grows more proficient, she learns how to freeze only certain people or objects or body parts, as she wishes. Vikings is a historical drama television series created and written by Michael Hurst. Vikings is inspired by the sagas of Ragnar Lodbrok, a Viking who is one of the best-known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as the scourge of Anglo-Saxon England and West Francia. The show portrays Ragnar as a farmer who rises to fame by raiding England and eventually becomes the Scandinavian king, with the support of his family and fellow warriors. In the later seasons, the series follows the fortunes of his sons and their adventures in England, Scandinavia, the Mediterranean and North America. The series began filming in July 2012 at Ashford Studios in Ireland, which at the time was a newly built facility. This location was chosen for its scenery and tax advantages. The first episode received favorable reviews, with an average rating of 71% according to Metacritic. Many characters are based on real people from history or legend and the events portrayed are broadly drawn from history. The history of more than a century has been condensed, people who could never have met are shown as of similar age, with the history amended for dramatic effect. The main role is played by Travis Fimmel. The man at the time of filming the series was already 35 years, but before the series Vikings, he got only a minor minor role. He was better known as a model, because he did not see himself as the fearless leader of the harsh northerners. After the series, the actor became one of the most recognizable among contemporary celebrities. The Vampire Diaries is an American supernatural teen drama television series developed by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck, based on the book series of the same name. The series premiered on September 10, 2009, and concluded on March 10, 2017, having aired 171 episodes over eight seasons. The series is set in the fictional town of Mystic Falls, Virginia, a town charged with supernatural history. It follows the life of Elena Gilbert, a teenage girl who has just lost both parents in a car accident, as she falls in love with a 162-year-old vampire named Stefan Salvatore. Their relationship becomes increasingly complicated as Stefan's mysterious older brother Damon Salvatore returns, with a plan to bring back their past love Catherine Pierce, a vampire who looks exactly like Elena. Although Damon initially harbors a grudge against his brother for forcing him to become a vampire, he later reconciles with Stefan and falls in love with Elena, creating a love triangle among the three. Both brothers attempt to protect Elena as they face various villains and threats to their town, including Catherine. The brothers' history and the town's mythology are revealed through flashbacks as the series goes on. The Vampire Diaries initially received mixed reviews, which through the course of the show, improved significantly. Many TV critics felt the series improved with each episode. Sarah Hughes of The Independent says The Vampire Diaries turns into a well-crafted, interestingly developed series despite a mediocre opening episode. Establishment, Osman is a Turkish historical drama television series. It is a sequel to the popular multi-episode show Risen Ertegrel, which gained fans around the world and was one of the highest rated shows in Turkey. The actors of the series underwent special training for nine months. They learned how to ride a horse, wield a sword, practice swordplay, shoot an arrow, and learn martial choreography. 
Their military training took place in mountainous and forested areas, where they built their fortifications, sought water and prepared food. Audiences loved the beautiful sets, which look authentic, and the detailed costumes, which give a fairly accurate representation of the historical era. The story of the founder of the state, who became part of national legends, cannot turn out neutral. It will be fiery and memorable. For Turkish viewers there is nothing unnatural about this, but for those who watched the series in other countries it may seem a bit strange. The series is focuses on the life of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he establishes and controls the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongol Ilkhanate and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Rum to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol empires and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family, and friends. The Tenth Kingdom is an American fairy tale fantasy miniseries written by Simon Moore. It depicts the adventures of a young woman and her father after they are transported from New York City, through a magical mirror, into a parallel world of fairy tales. From the first episode the series has won the hearts of millions of people around the world. In a hidden realm, fairy tale characters inhabit nine magical kingdoms where an evil queen plots to rule them. She is held in a fourth kingdom prison. This kingdom is under the rule of Prince Wendell, the spoiled, arrogant grandson of Snow White. Weeks before his coronation ceremony, the queen enlists the help of the brutal troll king and his three children to release her right before the prince makes his annual visit to the prison. Prince Wendell is captured by the evil queen, who is his wicked stepmother. She turns him into a golden retriever while her very own retriever is transformed into a facsimile of Wendell. In a panic, the transformed prince flees through the prison, stumbles across a mirror portal in the basement, and is transported to New York City. The Troll King orders his bumbling children Burley, Blabberwort, and Bluebell to bring back the escaped prince while the queen releases a half-wolf prisoner to retrieve him instead. Meanwhile, regular Manhattan inhabitants, headstrong waitress Virginia Lewis and her oafish father Tony are entangled in the mishaps caused by the new magical arrivals to the city, including Wolf falling helplessly in love with Virginia and Tony being given six wishes, which he foolishly uses for personal gain, upon which they have a tendency to backfire. Friends is an American television sitcom created by David Crane and Martha Kaufman. The show revolves around six friends in their 20s and 30s who live in Manhattan. Friends received acclaim throughout its run, becoming one of the most popular television shows of all time. The series was nominated for 62 Primetime Emmy Awards. Episodes depict the Friends' comedic and romantic adventures and career issues. From 1994 to 2004, 10 seasons of the series were filmed. A total of 236 episodes. It was shown with great success in various countries of the world and gained many fans. At the beginning of the series, Rachel leaves her fiancé right at the altar and moves in with her high school friend Monica. After leaving her fiancé, Rachel decides to start an independent life and give up her father's money. Starting working as a waitress in a coffee shop, she is pursuing a career in the fashion world. The work of the screenwriters was also highly appreciated. Serious investment in this part of the work on the series has paid off. Characteristic of the observed was the fact that its plot is timeless, although it is applicable to acceptable clear time frames that coincide with the time of filming. The political and cultural cataclysms of 1990-2000 do not appear in any way in the dialogues of the characters. The closure of Friends was not only the end of the last season of one of the highest rated and commercially successful series in the United States, but also a turning point for the entire television. Experts talked about the end of an entire era of sitcoms, which was personified by the final episodes of Friends. The great series of 1980-1990 began to gradually fade into the past. According to experts, the series was originally aimed at a target audience from 18 to 49 years old. However, as the creators of the series noted, this was not a show for one generation, it was for everyone. <laughs>